Today I'm going to show you how to use a checkbox to automatically increment a number in a different cell. And this allows you to increment things like sales or whatever number that you want to be able to increment just using a checkbox. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go to extensions and app script to create a new script for this. And so I went ahead and cleared this out just so I can show you this from scratch. And so we'll call this script project. And then what we're going to use is called on edit. And this is a simple trigger. So I don't have to install anything under the triggers over here. And this will just run whenever the sheet is edited. And this E in here is just called the event object. And it just captures some data from what we just did. And so for example, if I check this checkbox, it's going to send some data through this E and then we can use that in here. And so I'm going to start with some basic data, like the range that was edited. And so I'm going to call that e.getRange. And then we can get stuff like the column. And this would be range.getColumn. And then we can get the row, range.getRow. And then the value, range.getValue. And then finally, we want to get the tab as well, or the sheet. So we're going to do let source equals e.source get active sheet and so you can see in each case I'm using this e for that event object and I'm getting something from that all right so now that we have our variables that we need to keep going the one thing I want to check is I want to see if this was checked so when you check a checkbox it evaluates as true and so what I'm going to say is if value is equal to true then I want to increment and so if that's true, then we can go ahead and proceed. And so I'm going to start with getting our range, our data here. And so let's just assume we check this box right here, D6. So what I want to do is get the next column over on the same row. And so we're going to do get range. And then I'm going to do row. And that's the row we want, but column we want plus one. And so just pay attention to this because you can update this to however you got this set up. For example, if you have the pluses or the checkboxes above, then you probably do the same column but row plus one or so forth. Or if you got the flipped around and the checkboxes on the right, then you do minus one. So that's all you need to do there. And then we're going to do set value as our method here. And so inside of our set value, I'm actually going to copy this whole thing and paste it in there and I'm going to flip this around from set value to get value and so what this will do is it'll get the old value so in this case it would get zero and then I want to set the value but I don't want zero I want plus one and so you could actually set a custom increment here if you want 10 or 20 or 5 or 2 you can set whatever here um, we're going to use one in this case and then the final thing that we're going to do is get range again and then I'm just going to get that row and column of what was edited. And we're going to uncheck that checkbox just to reset it nicely. So that is it. If we go back here, it should work now. So if I uncheck this, it's not going to do anything because now it's going to evaluate as false. But if I check this again, it should now increment that by one. If we check this, that increments that by one, jump down by one and by one. So that is it for that. Very simple and easy to use. You don't have to authorize this at all because we're not using any uh, restricted scopes. So uh, I'm going to leave a link to this project in the description of the video. So go ahead and check that out if you want to make a copy of it and play around with it for your own project. If this video is helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.